Hello friends, once again welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve some numericals on our mapping functions that we have learned before. The mapping functions are direct, associative and set associative. So the numerical is, it is given that a four-way set associative map cache of size 16 KB is there with the block size of 512 bytes. The size of the main memory is 256 kilobyte. We are supposed to find out the number of bits in the tag field and the size of the tag directory. Hope you remember the number of tags. How many tags will be stored in the cache memory? It is equal to the number of blocks. That means with every block there will be a tag field. And whenever we are doing these numericals, these numbers should be very much familiar with us. Then numerical solving will become very easy. 256 means what? 2 to the power 8. 16 is 2 to the power 4. 512 is 2 to the power 9. So we need to know those things, right? So the numerical A. So see, first I'll start with the block size. So block size is given as what? Your 512 bytes. So if I express this 512 bytes in powers of 2, it will be 2 to the power 9. Then this exponent will represent the number of bits required to find a word inside a block. So what field length will be 9 bits. Hope this part is clear. Very simple. 512 bytes. Express it in powers of 2. Then the exponent is the length of the word field. Then next we need to find out the number of blocks in the cache. Because they have not given us the set. How many sets are there? How many blocks are there? Rather they have given us the total size of the cache memory. So this cache memory total size it will divide by block size. What we are going to get? The number of blocks. So size of the cache memory is 16 KB. If I will divide it by block size, I will express everything in powers of 2 so that my job become very simple. 16 KB, 2 to the power 4. This is 2 to the power 10. As a whole, it is 14. Then 512 already we have seen 2 to the power 9. This division is what? 14 minus 9 actually. So it is 2 to the power 5. What does it mean? In the cache memory, total 32 blocks are there. Done. Next, we need to find the number of sets. So, if total 32 blocks are there and in a set, 4 blocks are there, how many sets can be formed? Very simple. 2 to the power 5 divided by the way number, right? So, to find the number of sets in the cache, number of blocks in the cache memory divided by way number. That is the number of blocks present in a set. How many are there? 4. So, 2 to the power 5 by 4 is what? 2 to the power 3. So, this 3 will represent one set number in the cache memory. Right? So, these two parts are clear. This word field and set field. And it is given that your main memory size is 256 KB. So, if I express it in powers of 2, it will become 2 to the power 18. This is 8. This is 10. As a whole, 2 to the power 18. That means in my total address length coming from main memory. Sorry, coming for the main memory is your 18 bits. This 18 bits consist of what? It is set associative mapped. It consists of tag field, then set field, and then the word field. We know the value of the two fields. What are those? Set field and the word field. So easily we can find out the tag field. Total address length is what? Number of bits in the tag, then the set and the word field. Here everything is known to us except this tag fields. So tag field will be 18 minus 3 plus 9. What is this 3? Set field. What is this 9? what fill length. So after this we get the tag fill length will be 6 bits. Hope this part is clear. Next question is size of the tag directory. What it is? This is equal to number of blocks in the cache memory multiplied by this 6 bits. How many blocks are there? 2 to the power 5. That is 32. 32 into 6. Number of blocks in the cache multiplied by number of bits in the tag field. So, 32 into 6 is, I will get some number. If I will divide that number by 8, my answer will be in bytes. So, it is 24 bytes. If you want to keep it in bits, that is also possible. But I have expressed it in your bytes. So, that it becomes a smaller number, right? So, this numerical is clear. These are, in fact, very simple numerical. And after solving this, our concept on mapping function will also become clear. Then next is, next question see another one again a four-way set associative cache is there of size what 512 kilobyte 
this is the size of your cache memory see while solving the numerical do not forget this k otherwise it will make a big difference and the block size is what 1 kb consider that there are 9 bits are there in the table they are asking us to find the size of main memory and the size of the tag directory so see we need to find the total length of my address it comprises of what tag field set field and the word field so here see tag field is directly given i need to find out set field the way i did before i'll do it and the same thing i will apply to find the word field also so 1 kb right so 1 kb means what 2 to the power 10 byte that is word field length will be 10 bits simple then number of blocks in the cache because directly I can't go to find the set. First, I'll find the number of blocks. So, size of the cache memory divided by block size. So, it is 2 to the power 9. That means 5 1 to number of blocks are there in the cache. They are comprising sets of size 4. Right. So, 4 4 blocks will be there in a set. So, how many sets will be there? Number of blocks in the cache divided by way number. It is 2 to the power 7. Total address length is what? Tag field, set field and word field. So it is 9, tag, this, this one. It is already given. It is 9. It is given. We are not doing anything. Set field, we have find out that is 7. Word field also it is 10. So as a whole, this one will become what? 26 bits. So using 26 bits means how many locations we can have? 2 to the power 26. And each location will hold 1 byte because the machine is byte addressable. So, 2 to the power 26 bytes will be there. That is nothing but equal to 64 MB. 20 means M. 6 means what? 64. It is 64 MB. Hope this you are getting. The next one is, excuse me. <coughs> then the next one is, we need to find the size of the tag directory. Size of the tag directory, again what it is? Number of tag bits into number of blocks. So, my tag field length is what? 9 bits. It is given. So, number of blocks in the cache. That already we have seen. It is 2 to the power 9. So, 2 to the power 9 is nothing but 512 into 9. This will give me 576 bytes. This thing I will multiply, divide by 8. The answer will be 576 bytes. Unit is changed. Right? Hope this one is clear. Then next we will solve one more numerical. See here, consider a four-way set associative map cache with block size of 4 KB. Right? So see, it is 4 KB block size and the size of the main memory is 16 GB and there are 10 bits in the tag and we need to find the size of cache memory and the size of the tag directory. See, same type of numerical. Once we have done size of main memory next what we have seen finding the tag bit this time what we are going to do finding the size of the cache memory right so see your main memory address is your main memory capacity is 16 gb so what is the length of main memory address this is 16 means 4 g means what 30 34 bits address will be there out of 30 uh, 34 10 bits are there in the tag I need to find the set then I can find the size of the cache memory and we can find out easily the length of my word field because block size is given. So see block size is 4 KB. So it will be 2 to the power 12 bytes right because this is expressing in powers of 2 so word field is coming as 12 bits. And then next is your this one see size of the main memory is 16 GB that is 2 to the power 34 bytes. That means main memory address length is 34 bits. Right? Total address length is 34. Then this total address is nothing but tag, set and your word. So I know now tag and word. I know total. So I can find out the set. That is 34 minus 10 plus 12. Substituting the values only. So answer is 12 bits. Right? Now the size of the cache memory. What will be the size of cache memory? This sets into way number. That will give me what? total number of blocks in the cache memory and then I need to multiply the size of each block that will give me actually the number of bytes in the cache memory. So sets are these multiplied by a way number will give me what my block numbers how many blocks are there each block comprises of this many bytes right so that as a whole this whole quantity will give me 
द साइज ऑफ केस मेमोरी सो नंबर ऑफ सेट्स इज टू टू दावर ट्वेल्व वे नंबर इज गिवन एज फोर एंड द साइज ऑफ ए ब्लॉक इज टू टू दावर ट्वेल्व बाइट्स सो एज ए होल दिस वन इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस टू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू टू दावर ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाइट्स सो द आंसर इज सिक्सटी फोर एम बी सिक्स मीन्स सिक्सटी फोर ट्वेंटी मीन्स एम राइट सिक्सटी फोर एम बी एंड द साइज ऑफ टैक्स डिरेक्टरी विल बी वन नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स इन द कैस इन टू नंबर ऑफ बिट्स इन द टैक् फिल्ड हाउ मेनी बिट्स आर देयर इन टैक् फिल्ड टेन बिट्स एंड हाउ मेनी ब्लॉक्स आर देयर ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन टू टू दावर ट्वेल्व इन टू फोर दिस क्वान्टिटी विल गिव मी वट दिस क्वान्टिटी विल गिव मी योर नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स राइट सो दिस क्वान्टिटी हैज गिवन मी द नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स एंड दिस इज माई टैक् फिल्ड If I'll multiply this and divide by eight, this will be my answer. That means tag directory size in bytes is twenty thousand four hundred eighty bytes. This is also another interesting numerical. Hope you are getting from this. Then next one more numerical we'll try to solve, right? So see this one numericals on mapping. See now we can easily do it. This is a mixture of your this one direct mapping and your set associative. How um, see a cache consists of total of one twenty eight blocks. Main memory contains two K blocks. Is consisting of thirty two words. How many bits are there in tag block and word field? If I am using your direct mapping, so see block is given. Number of blocks is given. I'll express it in powers of two. That will give me block field length, right? And your two K, two K uh, blocks are and is consisting of thirty two words. So I'll directly solve it. It is word addressable. Block size is thirty two words. So word field length is five bits. The number of blocks in the cache is 128, so 2 to the power 7. So 7 bits are required to represent a block in the cache memory. Now see, number of blocks in the main memory is 2 to the power 11. To find the tag bit, one thing we can do, we can divide this number by the number of blocks in the cache memory. That will give me how many contenders are there for single block of the cache memory. If I express that in powers of 2, exponent will be my tag field. So to find the tag bits, what I will do? Number of blocks in the main memory divided by number of blocks in the cache. So this will be two to the power four. So this tag field length will be four bits. This is the answer for my first part. The second part is I am coming to the second part. See now coming to the second part. In the second part, it is for set associative. So word field length will be five bits only. The same explanation. Then now we know the number of blocks in the cache memory. If we we'll divide it by your way number, then it will give me what? It will give me my set field. So now see number of sets in the cache will be number of blocks in the cache divided by way number. So two to the power five. So five bits are required to represent a set number. And now we need to find the tag bits. We can easily do. That uh, the number of blocks in the main memory will divide by number of sets in the cache. Then it will be two to the power six. So six bits will be there in the tag field. What does it mean? Two to the power six number of blocks from the main memory will be mapped to the same set in the cache memory. See, in case of direct mapping, to find a block whether it is present or absent, we need to see only a single position. So look up. That means the searching time will be very small because only one lookup we need to do. In case of set associative, we will see the whole set. So if in the set four blocks are there, we need to see four of them whether the any one of them contains the incoming address data, right? And in case of associative mapping, we need to see every block because we don't know where the where one particular block can occupy. So we need to see every block. To declare whether there is a hit or a miss, whether the block is found in the cache or not. So this much is there in this video. In next video also, we are going to solve some more interesting numericals. Till then, thank you. Keep watching my videos. Have a nice day.